Not the best dog walking weather, at least not all weekend long. Thanks, Adam. Well, it's no secret that Houston and some of the surrounding areas have a problem with stray animals. Plus, local shelters are very crowded. Animal welfare group Horton Huskies joins me right now. I have Tammy. I have Tammy. And I have Sienna. 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 Oh, my goodness. Tell me about Sienna first. Sienna was a pull from Bark almost two years ago. When you say pull from Bark, Bark is the local animal shelter and you all actually go and take them out of there? Right, okay. right. We tagged her. She needed surgery, so $3,000 later, we got her oh all my fixed goodness. Up. She had broken legs and pelvic, and so she got all fixed up. And unfortunately, she's not one of the prettier Huskies, so she's still in our group, but we have an amazing foster. And again, she's been with us almost two years. Well, you should have covered her ear when you called her not the prettiest she of Huskies. Oh, my goodness, she, guys. I think she's beautiful. She's I do, too. In the world. Yeah. But that's the problem. People get Huskies, and they go for looks, and they mm -hmm. don't do their education on the breed. What kind of family would make a good home for uh, Sienna? She would probably do well with a quieter family, but someone who's active, probably older kids. Um, she would do fine with little kids, mm. but she likes to just relax. She's a little bit older, so she's looking for that, that calmer family, but active. She loves to go to the dog park. She loves to run and play with other dogs. So she's a good, really good girl. Okay, all right. Well, uh, we'll have to stop talking about her. We can talk all morning about that. Um, but uh, Texas, Tammy, as you like to yes. go by, yes. um, we're showing some pretty brutal images on, on our screen right now. Um, what kind of problem, oh. what, what is Houston's problem when it comes to animal abuse? I see hoarding situations. Um, kind of go over what we're uh, facing in, in that area. That's one of the heartbreaks right there. One of the major situations is we do need to get more education on what's happening. We don't have enough of the spay and the neuter. Uh, clinics, the free clinics, a lot of people that are living paycheck to paycheck and they have a dog, that extra 300 bucks or whatever it might be to have the dog spayed or neutered, it's just not, it's just not going to happen. Unfortunately, I also have a part of the population that do the backyard breeders, mm -hmm. and I don't even think that they even give it a second thought to what's happening with the, the shelters being overcrowded, what's happening with, the, there's not even enough people to possibly foster or adopt all the huskies needed homes these right. days. So, whoops, Sienna, come back come here, girl. Come here, come here, come here baby. baby. There, <laughs> Sienna, see it. Well, how does yeah. someone, uh, where they're watching this home, they're seeing this beautiful dog, and they're seeing those images of abused dogs, how can they help out? Can they donate to you guys? Should they be looking for another rescue? What, what's the idea for so, this? Place? The, the thing is they can donate to us, they can donate, they can sponsor a dog, they can, you know, go to the shelters. We have an adoption fee, but that adoption fee, the majority of the time, doesn't even come close to what we put into the dogs. We need fosters, and 95% of our dogs, we saved 1,000 dogs last year, and 95% of them came from the greater Houston area. Um, we provided spays and neuters for almost 600 of those on our dime, so the donations are needed. Needed. We want to start providing free shot clinics to everyone. We aren't big enough to do the free spay neuter clinics, yeah. but there are things that we want to do and we could use everyone's help, whether they want to volunteer to walk dogs, to network dogs, to foster dogs, or to adopt. Okay. Well, I really appreciate you coming on and really appreciate, as a dog lover, what you're doing for our community and the other animal welfare groups out there. Thank Check you. out their website and donate if you can. There it is. Is it HortonHuskies.com? Dot com dot net dot org. Okay, and no all. G Lady in Horton Husky. No, right? okay. it's Horton. No Horton. It's a, it's a, it's a <laughs> southern thing. It is, I reckon. All right. Well, thank you guys for being with us. Thank you. We'll be thank right you. back, folks. Stay with us.